Hey everybody, Max here for the How To Film Crew, and today we are going to talk about bad audio in a very simple way you can fix it in DaVinci Resolve. But first, if you enjoy our content and want to see more, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell icon so you'll be notified when new content is uploaded. Help us reach our 1,000 subscribers goal so you can see more adventures of Batgirl, Harley, Black Canary, and Supergirl. Until then, we got a lot of new stuff on the way, like more tutorials, short films, and our new cosplay series, The Multiverse Battles, coming in June. Now with that out of the way, on with the video. Bad audio can absolutely ruin a scene. This is something we've learned the hard way over the years. Between background noise, a bad mic or bad mic setup, or just not monitoring your audio because you're too lazy to bring your headphones. <clears throat> yeah, sadly, these are all things that I've done. More than once, sadly. Anyway, these things make it an absolute nightmare to clean up audio. So much so that sometimes you have to utter the dreaded words, we'll have to ADR it. The words that make my crew, especially my wife, want to throw things at me. It's right up there with, we'll fix it in post, or that was perfect, but let's do one more take. Anyway, while I've learned a lot since then, and gotten a lot better at audio cleanup, and I always remember my headphones, I wish there was an easier way to take bad audio and make it better. Well, now there is. If you're a DaVinci Resolve user, I'm sure you've heard about the new voice isolation and dialogue leveler features when they were released in 18.1. And I know a lot of YouTubers have already talked about it, but I'm gonna throw my two cents in. I mean, better late than never, all right? First off, these features are extremely powerful. Voice Isolation uses their Neural Engine AI to remove the background noise and isolate the human voice on a track, all in one click. Dialogue Leveler smooths the voice track without having to manually adjust the levels, so most of your work is literally done for you. And while it's not perfect, it's darn near close and saves you from spending so much time in post. I've been using it for our voiceovers and most of our audio since its release. I'm using it right now on this voiceover. So I wanted to go back and see how well it would do on the opening scene of Abby Star's Superhero, which sadly had some terrible audio. So I'm a superhero now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why? Because the world is in need of a defender, a protector. You're vlogging about fighting crime and bright purple and pink spandex. It's called a vibrant lilac and electric rose. My fans picked it out. Your fans? As you can see and hear, there is a lot of background noise in this location. Originally, I had done a lot of noise reduction and EQ adjustments, but everything just sounded robotic and overprocessed. So we decided to ADR the dialogue, fill the background noise in with Foley and sound, and add music, which worked okay for the time constraints we had. That's what I thought. Why? Because the world is in need of a defender, a protector. You're vlogging about fighting crime in bright purple and pink spandex. It's called Vibrant Lilac and Electric Rose. My fans picked it out. Your fans? But with voice isolation, I can literally click on the track effects, hit the button, and Neural Engine AI takes over and cleans out the background noise for me. The same thing with Dialogue Leveler. Click the button, it levels everything out. I'm a superhero now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why? Because the world is in need of a defender, a protector. You're vlogging about fighting crime in bright purple and pink spandex. It's called a vibrant lilac and electric rose. My fans picked it out. By no means is it perfect, but that also comes from how bad the background audio is. If you are recording off of an on-camera mic or your phone, which I'm doing right now, you will be blown away at how good your audio is going to sound. If you want to see a more in-depth look at this or other features than DaVinci Resolve, or if there's other tutorials you would like to see, let us know in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when new content is uploaded. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you next time.